This beautiful young girl marries an old man for money, but when the old man is unable to satisfy her needs in bed, she begins writing the man who works in their garage. And as they say, once you go black, you can never go back. Hi guys, welcome to Kaylee King. Today we will be recapping the events of a 2019 movie titled Obsession. Let's get right into it. The scene opens with a man, who in search of job has left his village to come to the city. The man's name was Tony, in fact, he is a mechanic and knows how to repair vehicles very well. After this, while wandering Tony reaches a garage. But after reaching there, he realizes he is a little late, hence he does not get a job in this garage. Even then, he searches for jobs in different places. But at every place, he finds disappointment. Now, Tony didn't have a home in this new city. So after being tired, he comes to a stop and sits there. Then after some time, we see an old man named John who is returning home after finishing his work. At that moment, a thief attacks John and a scuffle starts between them. Tony was also sitting nearby and when he notices the situation, he too runs there. Tony arrives and starts fighting with the thief. He beats the thief and drives him away from there. After some time, the police also arrive here, after which John tells them everything. Meanwhile, John's wife Larissa also comes here, who is very beautiful and young. After that, John introduces Larissa to Tony and also thanks him for saving his life. After all this, just when Tony was leaving from there, John invites him to dinner at his house tonight. To which Tony also agrees. While having dinner, Tony tells John that he is a mechanic and he has come here in search of some work. But he did not find any work here. Hearing this, John tells him that he also has a garage and needs a mechanic for it, so you can work there. Now Tony also needed work, so he immediately agrees to do this work. Next day, John shows Tony his garage and tells him about his work. He also shows Tony a car on which he is currently working. Actually, John was making this car for his wife Larissa but he could not find the carburetor for the car, so he gives Tony the work to find the carburetor. Now Tony starts working in the garage with great concentration but during this time we notice that Larissa is secretly looking at Tony. Tony also notices this and he understands that Larissa is very attracted to him. And now he needs a younger and bigger tool. Thinking all this, now he also starts staring at Larissa with dirty eyes. Now this sequence continues like this for many days and one day Larissa comes to Tony and tells him, that he needs to stop staring at her like that or she will fire him. Hearing all this, Tony does not care and he comes to Larissa and tells her that you are so hot and young, so why did you marry this old man with loose weenie? Then Larissa tells Tony that they both love each other very much, that is why we married each other. Larissa now again warns Tony not to look at her with dirty eyes again. Saying this she leaves from there, but Tony is now determined to taste Larissa. So he doesn't stop staring at her and now looking at Larissa we come to know that Larissa is also enjoying all this. One day when John and Tony were sitting and having drinks, then Tony goes to the kitchen to get ice. Larissa is also there. Seeing Larissa, Tony starts coming closer to her and this time even Larissa does not stop him. Then Tony indulges in a lot of naughty deeds with her. The next day, when John comes to the garage, Tony tells him that he has found the carburetor of the car. John becomes very happy to hear this and quickly leaves from there to get the carburetor of the car. As soon as John leaves from there, Larissa comes close to Tony and then both of them play lots of hormone games together. Now from here, their affair starts. After some time, John comes home and he fixes the car and takes it for a drive. Then Larissa tells Tony that whatever happened between us, it was a mistake and we will not repeat this mistake again because I do not want to cheat on my husband. Now on the same night when John and Tony were sitting and drinking, John drinks so much that he faints on the spot. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Tony comes to Larissa's room and both of them start getting intimate again. After all this, Larissa tells Tony that if I had a lot of money, I would spend my whole life with you. The next day, John takes Tony to a ground and tells him that this land is his and soon its price is going to be very high because a highway is going to be built here in the next six months. John tells Tony about his plan that he is going to open a racing stadium here so that he can earn a lot of money. Next day, Tony brings Larissa to the same ground and tells her the whole plan of John. Hearing this, Larissa tells Tony that if they have once stayed together, then they need to remove John from their path. Tony is shocked to hear this because Larissa was asking him to kill John, so he flatly refuses to do so. The next day when John is showing Larissa the map of his stadium, Larissa hugs him and Tony gets very angry after seeing all this because he has also started loving her. That same night Tony goes to Larissa but she tells him that we have to stop doing all this and she can't do this as long as her husband is alive. Hearing this, Tony realizes that if he wants to be with Larissa, he has to get John out of his way. Now the next day, Tony brings Larissa to the garage and both of them make a plan as to how they will kill John. 
Then Tony tells her his plan but here Larissa does not listen to Tony but Tony tells her that after doing all this everyone will think that John's death was just an accident. Larissa also agrees to this because she also wanted to get rid of her boring life. Now Tony starts thinking about this plan the whole night. He gets very worried about this but now he has no other option but to do it. The very next day, these people execute their plan. While John was working under the vehicle in the garage, Larissa comes there and pulls the lever, due to which the vehicle falls on John and he dies on the spot. Then Tony asks Larissa to go to the supermarket and says that he will take care of all the things. Here Larissa's hill got stained with blood, so she takes her heel and throws it up on the way to the supermarket. Larissa stays in the supermarket for a while after which she gets a call from the police. On returning home, Larissa sees Detective Karen there who tells her that John died in an accident. Hearing this, Larissa starts pretending to cry so that the detective doesn't suspect her. In the next scene, we see Detective Karen talking to one of his partners. In fact, the detective was getting a suspicious of Larissa and Tony. And he felt that both of them together had killed John but they had no proof of this so they did not take any step. Here Tony and Larissa together find the heels which had John's blood on it and they immediately burn those heels. After some time, the police arrive to investigate the area but because both of them had destroyed all the evidence, they do not find anything. The next day, the detectives come to interrogate Tony. Tony tells that the lever of the garage is very old, due to which it broke and John died. The detective does not believe this statement of Tony, so he starts keeping an eye on him quietly. A few days pass like this and one day the detective calls Larissa and says that tomorrow morning you and Tony will have to come to the police station for interrogation. Next morning when both of them leave for the police station, the detective comes to Larissa's house and starts searching there. After some time, the detective meets Tony again and tells him that, John died not because the tractor fell once but because it fell twice. Tony flatly denies this and says that he does not remember anything after which the detective leaves them. Later, when Tony and Larissa were going home, Larissa was very scared and thought that both of them would be caught, but Tony takes control of her and consoles her that it's nothing. Here Larissa gives good news to Tony that she is going to be the mother of Tony's child, hearing which Tony becomes very happy. That very night Tony thinks about it a lot and finally the next day without telling Larissa, he goes to the police station and accepts the fact that he killed John and it is not Larissa's fault. When Larissa opens her eyes, she finds a letter in which Tony had written that when he was born, at that time his parents were also in jail and he does not want their child to be born in jail, so I'm handing myself over to the police. Many months pass like this and now John's stadium was also ready which Larissa was managing. It had become very successful business due to which Larissa was printing a lot of money. On the other hand, Tony was still in jail and Larissa often sent him the photo of their child, seeing which Tony was very happy in his heart. Next we see Larissa who was sitting in her office and she was taking photos of her child from her assistant. Here we come to know the biggest suspense of the story that Larissa was never pregnant nor did she have any son. The photos that she was sending to Tony were not hers but those of her assistant's child, that is, whatever happened in the movie till now was all Larissa's plan and we also saw a boy with Larissa. And this was the same boy who attacked John in the beginning of the movie. Actually, Larissa and this boy were having an affair for a long time and in the beginning of the movie, this boy was about to kill John when Tony intervened. Due to which the whole plan of these two got ruined, hence Larissa made a new plan due to which today John is dead and Larissa has also got his entire property. At the end of the movie, we see Tony who is being taken by the police to be hanged for the crime of killing John. That was it for the recap guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.